ever feel the rush to buy because it's now or never. That's the scarcity principle at play. This principle, rooted in the idea of supply and demand, suggests that as something becomes less available, its perceived value increases. In other words, the less there is of something, the more we want it. It's a fascinating aspect of human psychology that plays out in our daily lives, often without us even realizing it. Think about those limited time offers that seem too good to pass up, or those only a few items left messages that make us scramble to hit the buy now button. The scarcity principle is a powerful tool in the world of marketing and sales. But it's not just about getting us to part with our hard-earned money. It's about understanding human behavior and the factors that influence our decision-making. Scarcity principle is all about limited availability, making things seem more valuable. It's why we can't resist limited time offers. But why does the scarcity principle work so effectively? Well, it all boils down to human psychology. The scarcity principle triggers a sense of fear in us, specifically the fear of missing out, or FOMO, as it's commonly known. When we perceive something as scarce, its value increases in our minds. This is because our brain is wired to prioritize immediate rewards, and the thought of missing out on an opportunity triggers a sense of urgency. This urgency then bypasses our usual decision-making process, leading us to make impulsive purchases. Marketers often leverage this psychological aspect to encourage consumers to act quickly, creating a sense of urgency with phrases like limited time offer or only a few items left. This principle taps into our FOMO, making us act fast to grab what's scarce. It's a powerful psychological trigger in marketing. And though it might seem simple, the effects of the scarcity principle are far-reaching and incredibly influential. Let's look at some real-life examples of the scarcity principle. Consider Black Friday, the most anticipated shopping event of the year. Stores announce huge discounts, but only for a limited time, often only for one day. This creates a sense of urgency among consumers to grab the best deals before they disappear. And boy, does it work. Now let's talk about Apple. Ever wondered why people queue up for hours, sometimes even days, for the latest iPhone? Apple masterfully uses the scarcity principle. They launch their products with limited availability, creating a buzz and a sense of exclusivity. This drives people to stand in long lines just to get their hands on the latest gadget. These examples demonstrate how the scarcity principle can be a powerful tool in marketing. It's all about creating that now or never feeling. From the frenzy of Black Friday to the buzz around the latest iPhone, scarcity drives us to queue, click, and buy. So how does scarcity influence our behavior? Well, when we perceive something as scarce, it triggers a sense of urgency in us. It's like a little alarm bell ringing in our heads, telling us to act fast before we miss out. This sense of urgency can speed up our decision-making process. We might even bypass some of our usual buying behaviors like comparing prices or reading reviews just to ensure we secure the scarce item. And here's another interesting bit. Scarcity can also heighten our satisfaction. When we manage to snag that last piece or secure a spot in an exclusive event, we tend to value it more. We feel a sense of accomplishment, making the purchase feel even more rewarding. But there's a catch. It must be genuine. If scarcity is fabricated or manipulated, it can backfire, leading to consumer distrust. So remember, genuine scarcity is key to positive consumer response. But what about the ethics of using the scarcity principle, you may ask? Well, it's a crucial part of the conversation. As marketers, it's essential to understand that while scarcity is an effective tool, it must be used responsibly. Think about it. Scarcity is powerful because it's rooted in honesty. When a product is genuinely limited, the rush to acquire it is real. However, if scarcity is faked or manipulated, it becomes a hollow tactic. This misuse can backfire, leading to a loss of trust and credibility. Remember the old tale of the boy who cried wolf? In marketing, if you keep pushing limited offers that aren't really limited, consumers will eventually catch on. Your wolf, or the urgency to buy, will lose its bite. So the golden rule is simple, be honest. Use genuine scarcity to create excitement and urgency, but never at the cost of authenticity. Ethically using scarcity means being honest about availability. Misuse can lead to distrust. Genuine scarcity keeps consumers coming back. So what can we take away from understanding the scarcity principle? Well, it's a powerful tool that can significantly influence our decisions and perceptions of value. It's all around us, making us rush to grab that last piece of pie or that limited edition sneaker. It's the driving force behind the frenzy of Black Friday and the buzz of the latest tech launches. But remember, the key to effectively using the scarcity principle lies in its genuine application. True scarcity enhances value and builds trust, 
while artificial scarcity can lead to skepticism and disappointment. It's a fine line to tread, but when done ethically, it's a game changer. Understanding the scarcity principle can change how you see marketing and make decisions. Liked learning about this powerful principle of marketing psychology? How would you like 42 proven principles of persuasion that respect your audience's intelligence and autonomy? Download a copy of our free ebook, The Buying Brain, Decoding the Psychology of Consumer Persuasion. It will help you master consumer psychology to truly connect with your audience, craft messages that resonate deeply and drive engagement, and boost your conversion rates through targeted, science-based psychological tactics. I will leave a link in the description. Subscribe for more insights and share your thoughts below. Until next time, keep marketing with persuasion.